Hey guys, uh, today we're going to walk through Newton's second law and his equation that's associated with the second law and solve for each of the different variables. So here we go. Newton's second law motion basically says that an object accelerates in the direction of a net force. So if I push on an object, it's going to accelerate in the direction that it is pushed. Uh, the usual equation that's shown with Newton's second law is force is equal to mass times acceleration. Force is measured in Newtons. Mass is measured in kilograms. And acceleration is meters per second squared. So here's three different ways that we can show the equation. Uh, F equals m times a, or force equals mass times acceleration. We can also rearrange the equation. Acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. And uh, mass can also be equal to force divided by acceleration. All right, like when we talked about speed and velocity, uh, there's one of these fancy triangles that we can use for Newton's second law as well. So if I want to solve for force, I can cover up the force. And I would be then multiplying acceleration times mass. If I want to solve for acceleration, I'd cover it up. It'd be the same as saying I'm taking force divided by mass. Or if I want to solve for mass, I could cover up mass and say I'm taking force divided by acceleration. All right, so let's go ahead and get to these problems. So practice problem number one. Assume that a catcher in a professional baseball game exerts a force of negative 65 newtons to stop the ball. If the baseball has a mass of 0 0.145 kilograms, what is its acceleration as it's being caught? So we'll start by listing our givens. Uh, we're given the force of negative 65 newtons. We're also given the mass of 0 0.145 kilograms. And listing our unknowns, we want to solve for the acceleration. And acceleration is meters per second squared. So I'm solving for acceleration. So if I skip back to this previous slide, I can see that I can solve for acceleration by taking force divided by mass. So acceleration is force divided by mass. I plug in these values, negative 65 newtons for force and 0 0.145 kilograms for the mass and I get a value of negative 448 meters per second squared. All right, on to practice problem number three. The tallest man-made structure at present is the Warsaw radio mast in uh, Warsaw, Poland. Uh, this radio mass rises 646 meters above the ground, nearly 200 meters more than the Sears Tower in Chicago. Suppose a worker at the top of the radio mast accidentally knocks off a tool from the tower. If the force acting on it is 3.6 newtons and acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared, what's the tool's mass? So here's an example of where we've got a lot of stuff going on in the problem that really doesn't make any difference. So let's just get to the problem and say, oh, here's the numbers, here's the values I'm given. I've got a force of 3.6 newtons and acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. And my unknown is the mass in kilograms. So I'm solving for mass. So skipping back to this first slide again, mass is going to be force divided by acceleration. So here's my formula, mass equals force divided by acceleration. So 3.6 newtons divided by 9.8 meters per second squared will result in an answer of 0 0.37 kilograms. All right, practice problem number five. In drag racing, acceleration is more important than speed, and therefore drag racers are designed to provide high accelerations. 
Suppose a drag racer has a mass of 1,250 kilograms and accelerates at a constant rate of 16.5 meters per second. How large is the unbalanced force acting on the racer? So here we go. Listing my givens, I have a mass of 1,250 kilograms. I've got an acceleration of 16.5 meters per second squared. And my unknown is force in newtons. So solving for force, force is equal to mass times acceleration. So here's my equation, force equals mass times acceleration. I plug in my 1250 kilograms, my 16.5 meters per second squared. I multiply the two numbers to each other and I get a value of 20,625 newtons. All right, I've got one little extra bonus info problem that'll be helpful for your quiz coming up, uh, but also related to Newton's second law and the gravity stuff we're gonna talk about too. So what if we wanna calculate the mass in kilograms of an object that weighs 1,225 Newtons on Earth? So our equation for finding weight is mass times gravity. And gravity is just another word for the acceleration. So if we wanted to do the abbreviation for this equation, uh, weight is shown as W, and gravity is shown as a lowercase g. Mass is still the same. So weight is equal to mass times gravity. It turns out we're just using different letters to represent the Newton's second law equation. Force is equal to mass times acceleration. So Force and weight are both measured in newtons. Mass is still kilograms. And acceleration is meters per second squared. And acceleration uh, with regards to gravity is a specific number. So we're going to list our givens. Our given, the only number that we're given in the problem, is 1,225 newtons on Earth. So that's our force, or the weight. Well, we're not given anything else. So how do we find the mass in kilograms? Well, it turns out that we do have another given, but it's not always given in these weight problems. And that's the force of gravity, acceleration due to gravity. And that is always 9.81 meters per second squared. For our purposes, we'll just go 9.8 meters per second squared. And sometimes, if you're wanting to guesstimate, you can just round to 10 meters per second squared. All right, so here we go. So uh, my unknown is mass. So like we did previously, we rearrange the equation to solve for mass. And mass is going to be weight divided by gravity, or acceleration due to gravity. So plugging in my 1225 newtons, dividing that by the 9.8 meters per second squared, Plug it into my calculator, I end up with 125 kilograms. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you need to go back through this, feel free to do that. And good luck.